<laughs> that one is a similar theme of the kind of people in the street or waiting at the bus stop. And I'm putting this great big weight at the top of the painting, is, you know, just to, yeah. as, as, as something which is completely imbalanced, yeah, you know. Yeah. But also it was an experiment, it's slightly more free of painting, different kind of ways of painting, mm. faces, yeah. If you use a perspective, half the painting is like sky, or, yeah. and you have people behind each other, so you need to tip it all up. All Bruegel's paintings are painted as if it's up a tree, you know. Same with Larry. Larry's looking out of his top bedroom window, I think. Mm. So you're looking down, so you tip everything up. So, so everything's tipped up. Yeah, and everything's tipped up here to such an extent that the floor is almost vertical. Yeah. You know, the floor has almost become a wall. So you can have feet at the top, you know, as a sort of, a sort of kind of isometric projection means that the painting can go on forever, higher and higher. I mean, the other way, the, the painting, the first one, so the, the, the big part there, eh, where you have a more conventional perspective, yeah. the way you make the top of the painting more narrative is to stick a guy up a ladder. Yes, you know, yes, right, you know. So it's very kind of, yeah, straightforward, yeah. And, and, and the other one here is, is, is you put somebody standing on top of the guy's head, you see, you know, so, yeah. So there's other devices as well as tipping up the space, yeah. I mean, just in terms of tipping the space up, at least uh, you kind of bend the street around so much that you're looking down on, on top of it. Yeah. So you put a building down here. There's one that's not here where I put the moon down here. And, and it's not turned upside down. It's just there's a thing that looks all, all the way around, yeah? yeah? So some things are seen straight on, some things are seen from the top. But it's all to do with fitting the narrative in, into the thing, yeah? Not just as a kind of cubist exercise, you know. I was talking earlier on whether these three characters are members of the um, Stray Cats, yeah, yeah. the rock and roll, the rockabilly band. No, no, but they are Teddy Boys. This is the longest title ever. But eighties was a time of big titles, yeah. <laughs> so, so this has got the in brackets the monster from the Nevada desert, which is written on the thing, yeah. Stray's bed partner, starring Fat Man which was the Hiroshima bomb, yeah, and the virgin bed, considered as the Nevada Desert. So this is bed, which is considered as the Nevada Desert, the, the, the bar arm, yeah. And that's my Olympia. Yeah. Cooper said about that painting, I mean, I think there's something of the slave trade there, you know, of, of slavery, but also the notion of freedom, yeah? In, in all Japanese, like erotica, they have the, the sexual kind of act and mm. stuff. And then they have somebody looking through a window at them. So there's always a kind of voyeur in, in the picture. That was exhibited at the Icon. Yeah. 21, 21 show. Yeah. I think, I think it doesn't fit with these. These are the shiny city up, up the hill, but, you know, it, it comes from a different time. But Two years later, is there. Yeah. But it's nice to be able to mix them up, yeah? Someone said, what's the difference between the old work and the new work, yeah? And, and I said... And this was before I put it up, and I said the old work is bigger, yeah, than the new work, yeah, because that's about all I knew, you know. And, and people expect you to predict and make statements, you know, without actually. I said I want to put it up and look, and then I might know what, what the difference is. And, and actually looking at it is the the old work is like red, uh, and the new work is like green, <laughs> <laughs> and and it's bigger, yeah. And that's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true though. I mean that that's his, yeah? Yeah? What is the difference? Well yeah. Easily explained. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. And the period kind of in between those sort of paintings of these was, was full of digital work and other kind of things, you know. And other concerns. Mm. It's had a student in who I, I interviewed in two thousand and two. Uh, and she remembers my show at the Lanchester Gallery, which was about food and on plates, you know. So I showed her this, and so it got before the food on plates and after the food on plates and the digital stuff. And she was kind of shocked, you know. But reinventing myself for the last time, maybe, 
getting back to painting wasn't easy. Was How long did you do digital work for? Ten years. Mm, it's not quite a stretch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was also related to teaching full time. I mean, I did this lot teaching full yeah, time. Yeah, I, you know? I know. I know. But but it, you know, painting is one of those subjects that you can graft for for a week and be further back than <laughs> than when you started. Yeah. And, and, and you kind of you know would have been painting would have progressed more if you'd stayed in bed all day. You know. All week, yeah. But but with digital stuff, you find you could you know you could make gains and do quite a lot in the evening, you know, on the weekends. So it was partly to to do with teaching, yeah, you know, that, that I could be more efficient. But then I did some digital prints that took me four years to do. Mm. So it completely defeated the, yeah, yeah. the original intention of it. Yeah. Let's have a look at the um, the green. Yeah, yeah it's the green stuff. Yeah. And it's only a selection of some of the kind of landscape things which all came under the title of Inglandia, yeah? Mm -hmm. But everything, this Sellafield stuff, is Inglandia. The bloody yeah, national treasure of the mm -hmm. oldest computer in the world is, yeah. is Inglandia. You know, anything I can do, yeah? anything I think of, can come under this, <laughs> through this conduit, you know? Yeah? But I've used digital stuff to, to print these. Yeah. And work on them. And, and these are digitally assisted things, yeah? Yeah. Whilst well, these aren't. These are kind of straight watercolours, you know. I mean, I mean that, that was put together by a mass of different photographs of the computer, some taken by myself, some from the, the museum. Uh, all digitised on my computer. So it's done through my computer, collaging it in a sense together. I was, I was thinking of calling the, the, this lot sort of men playing with knobs, you know? Naturally. Yes. But, but it's, it's a, 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 a male, male kind of equipment, that, the, the black stuff with knobs on, you know, the white machinery is, 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 is for women in kitchens, you know? And, and the black stuff sells better if there are more knobs on. So the guys <laughs> have something to turn, yeah? But I, I hope, you know, there's some sense of the diabolical in, in, in the sort of 1950s, sort of the kind of Quatermass, sort of the people controlling things. Mm. That, that's my brother. Is it? Yes. yes. Wow. It was a photograph that I tried to get. I, I, it, it died at 59, yeah? Okay. Yeah. And, then we had yeah, it. and, and he's, 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 he's pressing the button to turn this machine on. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It, it's the most undramatic kind of artificial kind of thing, I mean. He was a research chemist at Pilkington's. This is the computer that ran Harwell. Wow. Yeah. Well, he took early retirement when he was about 45, and then never got a job mm -hmm. after that. They were getting rid of people. Yeah. So pushing buttons, and, and my joke around this, this is, is I, I was going to call it men, men playing with knobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we've, we've done that. We've done that one, yeah. We've done that one. Done that gag, yeah.